Hey everyone, it's John from my solar home. Today we're exploring an energy storage technology that's literally grounded in real physics. Gravity batteries. Imagine storing renewable energy without relying on lithium or chemicals. Imagine concrete blocks or weights lifting and dropping to store renewable energy. Think dozens of heavy weights being raised when the sun is shining and released at night to generate electricity. No degradation, no toxic chemicals, and robust infrastructure that could last 50 years or more. Intriguing, right? This could revolutionize how we store solar and wind power long term. Gravity batteries could be the next big thing in energy storage, especially as the grid struggles to keep up with the exploding demand from EVs and power-hungry AI data centers. Stick around. I'll show you how this compares to lithium ion, where it's being built, and whether it might someday power your home or community. So what is a gravity battery? At its core, a gravity battery stores energy by lifting heavy masses. Rocks, concrete, weights, even water, high off the ground. When electricity is needed, these weights descend and the motion drives the generator, converting potential energy into electricity. Let's look at how these gravity energy systems work. Step one is to store potential energy. Now, when electricity from solar or wind is abundant, winches or cranes will lift heavy masses, steel blocks, concrete, bricks, weights, either underground or atop towers. These effectively convert the excess electrical energy generated by wind and solar in a potential energy stored into these blocks that are now high off the ground or on top of a mine shaft or tower. Step two is to generate electricity. During high demand or low generation times like late evenings when solar or wind may not be working, but the grid requires energy, they can call on their storage resource like the gravity batteries. The blocks are now released to fall from a height and as those masses descend, they drive generators that produce electricity. Gravity batteries are a robust and sustainable solution. With no chemical reactions, these mechanical systems avoid degradation over time and offer projected lifespans going from 35 to 50 plus years. They're very high efficiency. Round trip efficiencies range from 75% all the way up to 90%. Let's look at the different types of gravity batteries available today. There are the tower lift systems. These are modular composite blocks that are elevated using cranes to store energy up to 100 megawatt hours. There are shaft weight systems. These leverage existing underground mine shafts. You raise and lower weights inside the mine shifts, offering fast, reliable grid stability. Then you have the rail-based approach. Some companies are exploring moving rail cars uphill to store and release energy later. So why is gravity storage so exciting? Longevity and no degradation. You maintain full capacity over decades. Traditional batteries lose capacity every year as the chemical processes and chemical components degrade. Gravity batteries, on the other hand, have no degradation during their life. And their lifetimes are much longer, 50 years or more. With their high round trip efficiency, 80%, they're nearly as efficient as lithium. No environmental safety conditions. You have no chemicals, no batteries, no risk of fire. They also have a lower levelized cost of storage, LCOS. It's between four cents to six cents per kilowatt hours, often cheaper than lithium. LCOS is calculated by dividing the lifetime's energy production of the gravity battery by its lifetime cost, including maintenance. Since these batteries last so much longer, they produce way more energy over their lifetime. The initial costs are higher than lithium, but with their very low operating costs and no replacement costs, remember those lithium batteries, they only last 12 to 15 years. The gravity batteries pencil out to a much total lower cost over its lifetime. Let's look at some existing gravity battery projects as of today. Energy Volt out of Switzerland has a tower in China. The Swiss company's EVX tower is a gravity-based energy storage system, a GESS. It's located in Rudong in Jiangsu province pretty close to Shanghai. It is a 120 meter high structure designed to store and release energy 
by lifting and lowering 24 ton blocks made of soil, sand or recycled waste. The system is connected to the grid and it uses an AI program to optimize energy storage and release based on power demand. The system is able to generate 25 megawatts of power and has 100 megawatt hours of storage capacity. Gravitricity near Edinburgh has developed a 250 kilowatt hour prototype using underground shafts with rapid response and long life. Gravitricity is a Scottish startup and they developed this 250 kilowatt hour based energy storage prototype at the port of Leith near Edinburgh. The system involves a 49 foot high steel tower that lifts and lowers two 25 ton weights to generate electricity. Gravity Power, based in Santa Barbara, California, is another company developing an energy storage system that utilizes a piston water system. The system stores energy by using a reversible pump turbine to lift a massive piston inside a deep sealed vertical shaft filled with water. When electricity is needed, the piston descends, forcing the water through the turbine, which acts as a generator, creating power. The system is designed to be highly efficient, scalable, and environmentally friendly. So how does it compare with other battery technologies? Lithium-ion batteries are great for homes and EVs. Fast response, compact, but they degrade over time, and they do rely on mining and require complex recycling. Flow batteries, they offer longer duration storage, but they're bulky and they're pretty expensive to scale. Solid state batteries are very promising, but they're still a few years away from widespread use. Gravity batteries, built to last 30 plus years, need almost zero maintenance. And they're perfect for massive grid storage, not for your garage. The trade-off, they require a lot of space and infrastructure. What about the limitations and challenges? Slow deployment time and really high upfront infrastructure costs. You require tall structures or deep shafts, which are not always available. They also have slightly slower response time compared to fast batteries. So they are best for long backups, not millisecond frequency regulation at grid scale. The main drawback of gravity storage is the significant upfront cost. Even though the lifetime operating expenses may be lower than lithium ion, convincing investors to commit to a high capital project is not always easy. Additionally, physical wear and tear on mechanical components like the winches, cables, pulleys, or lifts can be a concern over decades of operation. However, advocates note that regular maintenance is straightforward compared to the challenges of recycling chemical batteries. So what does the future hold? Massive projects in China are scaling up today. Urban integration opportunities are turning towers into energy hubs or being integrated into skyscrapers. We likely to see hybrid models where gravity batteries are built with hydrogen and they are built into grid resilient structures. Gravity batteries are a bold mechanical alternative to chemical storage. Durable, non-toxic, potentially less costly long term. They aren't perfect, but for grid scale and long duration needs, gravity battery technology presents a compelling complement rather than a replacement to chemical batteries. Its ability to deliver cost-effective, long-lasting, and safe energy storage makes it a powerful ally in scaling up renewables. Whether deployed in towers or shafts, these systems are shaping the future of 24 by 7 clean energy. If you're passionate about renewables and want to stay ahead of energy trends, smash that like and subscribe and ring that bell for more innovative energy tech insights. What do you think? Could gravity batteries power your community one day? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, and until the next time.